Blah, 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 blah. But this time, his face lit up. He said, your blood work is amazingly. Yeah. <laughs> Now, when he said, when I sat down, when he came over, sat down, and he talked about Christ, 
The price has gone from 185 to 265 dollars. Because he said you have to strip all the code from within the car, from all the different places the code is located, and then you have to redo the code, all the complication of having the chip in your key. And so he called me over and I said, well, that was fast. Yeah, he had this funny, funny look on his face. And I said, I was waiting. He said, your key doesn't have chip in it. Oh, hey. <laughs> This gentleman that I knew from the very beginning when I bought my car from on top and he wanders over and says, oh yeah, did you know the 2004 Highlanders, which God specifically picked out for me 15 years ago, does not have a chip in it. Yeah. <laughs> None of the Highlander keys have chips in it. So the cost of this key was $18. <laughs> Texting, calling me, saying this is the wrong thing. 
can't do my deal. I'm trying to sign papers. Can't even remember my own income or my last name. <laughs> so I went out and started praying. God said, just follow her lead. So that's my testimony. So I followed her lead. We went and got a van. And everything is good. I was <laughs> but this week, she started school. She's going back to school. That makes me have to keep the baby. I haven't kept the baby in a long time, all day by myself. So, a couple of years ago, I prayed, Lord, teach me to depend on you. Now I'm learning, you have to be careful what you pray for. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Because having my son all day long is a job. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm Thursday. I wasn't feeling good Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but I was kind of sick. And uh, she got sick on Thursday. She got in the car, and I can hear her making noise. And she can have a seizure. So we take her off the school, the baby's hollering, Jordan's acting crazy. Um, it was just crazy. And I'm sitting there sweating. I don't know how sick I am. And so I said, Lord, we, we got to go to the doctor for me. So we're trying to go from Southeast Florida to the main hospital. A same day appointment. I called and said, I'm on my way. But as I get in, I had to lay her down. I'm walking and praying the whole time. See, because I said, Lord, teach me to depend on you. Come on, come on. So my, the traffic was bad. So I had to pray. LT was everywhere. So I really had to pray. Jordan so was upset and he was hungry, and I kept praying. But as we got there, I get in the office, I had to lay my wife down on the chair, I mean on the bench, take care of her. LT tore up the place. <laughs> I was 30 minutes late, but I kept praying. Lord, teach me to depend on you. Come on, come on. It wasn't about the doctors. I got in. I had an infection, a serious infection, which they gave me. I'm helping the doctor out because she's an intern. I said, well, maybe you should treat me. <laughs> just in case. You know, but normally I get upset. But I was. And my son is tearing this place up. Normally he listens to me, but not today. But I start laughing, knowing everything I have to do, have to pray to God. It wasn't my way anymore. It was God's way. It was not my understanding. It was what he was giving me to do. Giving me to say. So that's my testimony. I made it through this week. <laughs>
that was that was on time. And, and yeah, right on time. Okay. I'm saying on time and yeah, right on time. However, I want to say is back to what I was saying earlier. Now you see, in the middle of the night. Okay, happy birthday to the folks in the 
ça au feu.
that we believe that we are blessed and highly favored. We know that we are. And today, I told them our uniforms we're going to just wear. Each person wear a different shirt because our message is on our shirt. <coughs> we want everybody to just read the shirts and know that we are blessed and highly favored. We are a child of the Lord. Yes. And know what form it gives us. So we're going to um, want everybody to join in on this dance. When you get the signals or whatever, just start, you know, <laughs> feeling the presence of the Lord, crushing them in. Thank you. 
everybody with the same.
for another day. Thank you for blessing us, Lord. We thank you how you watched over us, kept us down through the years. Oh my God, you're a good God. You're a merciful God. And we just want to thank you. And we give you all the praise, honor, and glory. It belongs to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It's an honor. Within me. Yeah. 
remember when he brought you out of darkness into this marvelous light? Can you go back in your mind and remember? Can you? The love of God. Sometimes we forget where God brought us from. I'll never forget where God brought me from. Never! I was lost without a hope. I'll never forsake you. I'll 
until the end of time. So I was laying in my bed. Then when I raised up a vision of Jesus appeared right on my bedroom wall and I leaped back beside of the bed. Do you know why? Because I wasn't ready and I thought he was coming to get me and I know I wasn't going to him. But what he had from it was good news. Yes! Good news! Said, I love you, Lord. Then he told me a lot of things that night. But the special thing he told me, I want you to go to Grace Cup. Hallelujah. Show yourself to the priest yes. and the pastor. Yes. I had been here twice. Nobody paid me any attention. Yeah, I know she loved me. But the enemy was didn't want me to get back. Alright? But the place where the enemy didn't want me to get back was the place that God told me to go. So I got up early that Sunday morning. Got dressed and sat right in the back. Didn't say a word. I'm just hoping that what God told me to do. Pastor Grace was here. Again, man. She looked back and saw me. I said, Pastor Grace, look. She called. I walked about halfway and I stopped. She looked and she said, Put me up on that front seat. Oh, man. That's where I've been. That's like five. But when God orchestrates a thing, He knows what He's doing. all we have to do. Come on now. God reached down into the muck and mire and picked me up. Come on now. I'm here to tell you today, stay with Jesus. The test is going to come. People going to go, people going to come, but stay with God. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to read a few scriptures here. A few lines. You see, we can speak some good talk. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, have not charity, mean love. I am become as a sounding brass or a tingling symbol. Though I have the gift of prophecy, God gets prophesied morning, noon, and night. And understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, all faith, so I could remove mountains, so I could remove and have not charity, I have nothing. Listen, just a plain message. That's the way it's been talking about it. The greatest. Is love. Who's the greatest? Jesus. No, Ali was the greatest. 
But at least he had the answer to the grace. Thank you, Father. Who's grace?
But the praise dances, thank God they know thy name. You know, when I was a kid growing up, I used to hear my name in my ear all the time. Lawrence. Lawrence. And I would say, who's calling you? But when I got older, I found out. I told my mom, when I grow up. I'm going to feel preacher. That's what I told her. I didn't know what I was saying. I mean, I just said it out of nowhere. But God knows our name. He knows where we belong. I guess I'm doing a little teaching this morning. But God wants us to love one another, people. Yeah. We could set the world on fire with love. Yeah. Just loving each other. Yeah. But you know if somebody look at us wrong, what you looking at? What you looking at? Oh, we can hear something. I heard what you said about me. That's not love, folks. We got to have more patience and more love with each other. You hear me? God is not pleased with the way we talk and treat one another. Y'all hear me? Y'all ain't gonna like me after this, but long as God loves me. Long as he keeps loving me. I'll be alright. Have you ever realized how low God had to reach to get you up? Oh yes. You think about it? I mean. How low did he have to reach that? How low did he have to reach it? Got some, some of us yeah. early on. He didn't only have to reach, he had to dig down. He had to dig down to get some of us up. Instead of talking about one another, 
I know y'all don't like this, but it's all right. I'm just giving you what God. But we need to spread love. I began to see what the pastor was talking about. She saw grapes and grapes and grapes and grapes. You know how those grapes get here? Through the love that we spread from God. Love is the way. It's not how well we can sing. Some of them stand and some of them stand. But it's how, how we love each other. I just want to get that point over. How we love each other. God is love. He saw us in the Here come a man named Jesus. He left on record. Love one another as I have loved you. That's where he left. But just before he gave up the ghost, He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He left on record for us to love one another, folks. We can have money. The word says we can give our bodies to be burned. But if you don't have love, you just got to burn that body. <laughs> Come on now. Speak all mystery. Ah, you can have faith to move mountains. But if you don't have love, you don't have that. So, so first of all, we got to learn to talk of right. Right. Quit snapping each other head and home. When love came to Jesus Christ, they tried to do away with it, didn't they? But what did love do when things got tough? God 
said, love one another as I have loved you. And he loved the soul until he scooped us up out of the muck and the mire. That's how much he loved us. But you see, he tried to get away, do away with love. When he gave up the ghost, he said, that's it. We, 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 we get rid of him. But on that third day, Use some love. You'll win. 
win every time. Guaranteed. Would you be here today if God didn't love you? Would you? No. No. But he don't love women.
condition. They had to go to the hospital. The doctors weren't sure of what they were doing. But this woman of God called me in the hospital and she said a prayer. Did you see me standing here today? <laughs> there was something about an affibulator putting in me. And I said, a affibulator? No, 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 no. I said, God, we made this body. Two days later, the doctors called me and they don't realize 